Hello and welcome back to the channel for another College Steve review. Today we'll be taking a look at another Takara Tummy Diaclone reboot figure, that being the Garuda Resalter, not really sure how to say that, Gyro Lifter unit, and this is part of the Tactical Mover series. Um, if you haven't seen my first review of, of Diaclone, that was on the Tactical Carrier, so it's meant to carry um, the core robot of this, which we'll get into later. Um, I got this from TF Source, so check that out if you want to pick up some Diaclone figures. So this is the Diaclone line has absolutely blown me away and it continues to. This is a fantastic figure. But before we get into the details, the many, 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 many details of what comes in the set, first let's take a look at the packaging. You can see cool image there of the robot mode. It's like the super robot mode um, on the front. Please pardon the massive bruise on my hand, but that's just from sports, so don't worry about that. But anyways, the there's the packaging. You can see one of the other modes on the side, kind of like the gear walk mode, and then some more details on the back. So it is a robot, it is a helicopter thing, carrier, it is, <laughs> uh, um, they call it mech mode, but it is like a gear walk mode, and that comes with a car, and you could detach some parts and make more spaceships, whatever you want to do, this thing can do it. The does of course include instructions, so you get sticker sheet, if you want to put stickers on, which I did. Um, then you have like a, you know, kind of like an ad book, which is pretty cool. There's some features, everything's in Japanese. I can't read it, but very cool. And then you have an instruction book telling you where to, there are some parts that come on a sprue, which shows them here. Um, two sets for the cannons, and it tells you where to attach those. Very straightforward. And there's some more does show you how to put the stickers on here. Um, I chose to put them on a little differently just to customize my figure a little bit for how I'm going to use it. But there you go. Instructions for how everything goes together. Now into the figure itself. So I'm not going to get into all the details of this thing because it is, it is so freaking awesome. But first, we'll take a look at the figure. He's all armored up in his robot mode. You can see... Very cool face sculpt there. Nice light piping. Everything glows. Very cool. Tons of paint apps. These guys do definitely command a hefty price tag. This was around 80 US dollars, um, but I think it was well worth it. Tons and tons of accessories. Lots of parts, like all these parts you can swap on and off. Same thing with the missiles and the cannons here. We'll get to that in a little bit. Let's see, this is with like all the parts installed on this guy. This is what he looks like. That's the back. Big old backpack, but that is kind of part of the look of this figure. And then you do also get this little car thing, which is pretty cool. This cannon on the back does rotate all the way around, does move up and down. And then you can open up this compartment here in the back to access the cabin. And you can fit a little Diaclon figure in there, which right now he's in the chest of the core robot. So get that a little bit, but and then this does integrate into the carrier mode, which I'll get into in a little while. Oh, it does have pinned on wheels, crazy tailed, fantastic little truck. So now for the robot mode, you got tons of stuff going on here. Lots and lots of different things you can do. Um, so articulation wise, you got these fans, which can move all the way around. They spin very freely. They look fantastic. Tons of detail in there. You can flip this whole thing around and it actually has like a viewfinder and everything. And this is like a big cannon. Um, and then these things fold around and angle down and you can give him like a super, super cannon mode that he can hold. And this whole section does slide so that you can get it into his hands, which I won't do now, but it is actually pretty easy to get it into his hands. So you can have him holding this gigantic cannon thing if you want, which is kind of, kind of neat. And also, like, you can see everything on this figure, like, it is all removable. So if you want to swap it out with other Diaclone parts, you certainly can, which is pretty, pretty fun. So now to get into the articulation segment, it's probably easiest if I start detaching some of these parts. So this whole backpack component does just come off. You can see it is all just one big unit here. And you can actually detach this section if you want to, just this back piece away from the fans, um, but it is pretty secure. So... After I attach it, I'm not going to detach it. And then, of course, these cannons 
can attach on the arms, everything's like the same size port, or you can put it in the hands, or you can put it um, up front here, which we'll do after I go over articulation to get into the transformation sequence. But so articulation wise, this is kind of more like more or less the base robot. There's still a whole bunch of armored parts on him. But articulation wise, got all the way around at the shoulders, you can go out to there, double jointed elbows, fantastic. The wrists swivel, move up and down, and you have even opening fingers on a figure that's about the size of a deluxe class standard transformer, maybe a little smaller. So very impressive. Um, the head does swivel, of course. It is just um, on a little peg like everything else, like a three millimeter peg, so you can just pull it off if you don't want it there. And then to access the cockpit, you can just open all that up, and there is the little diaclone figure inside. I've already gone over the articulation on this guy previously, and right now he's a little tricky to get out because he's all the way in the in the chest unit, but I'll pull him out later. But so that's where the figure is. Then you do have full waist rotation, which you know might hit some of the parts sitting around back, but you can kick up very, very high, kick back, you know, as far as whatever kibble you have on will let you. Same thing out to the side. Nice and strong joints. You have swivel the thigh, double jointed knees. Then there is this extra back piece, which is like a heel spur, but that can just fold up. And so the feet do rock all the way inwards, go out and go all the way back and all the way forward. So lots and lots of articulation out of this guy. Now, as we get into transformation stuff here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tab on these guns here. Just cause that's where they go for the next modes. He's got his guns up front. And again, like you could peg those on here, you could peg those on here, you could peg them onto the side of his waist, onto his legs, wherever you want. So then bring this whole back unit in and there's, you can see tons and tons of pegs on the back. So just get everything out of the way, line it up with the top two pegs and that's all attached. Now to go into his next mode, what you wanna do is extend out the center section like so. And then so the, the cockpit and this piece are all in one, one hinge, but you only want to rotate the headpiece back like that. And then we can take this whole bottom section, detach it, and also get this section out of the way. So get the whole waist section out of the way like that. You want to take these parts. I'm just leaving that for now, actually. You want to open up the tops of the forearms here and collapse the fist inside which also does, again, reveal another peg. So if you want to use that for attaching something else, you totally could. And then we just fold the arms up and rotate them back. Like so. Actually, I think they, we want that to be straight. So you want the arms to be straight. And we just rotate those back. I actually need to fix these blades. So these face this way. I was messing around with this, of course, before the video and um, trying to store it into the tactical carrier, which is quite a lot of fun. But so you want to just get those arms angled around. I don't think there's actually any tab slot connection, but all the joints are stiff enough that it all just holds in place. Same thing on this side. Open up the forearm, collapse that fist in, straighten out all those double joints. They'll kind of lock into place. Rotate the arm around just so everything seats pretty flush back there. Alrighty, then we want to take these sections and stick them out to the side. We're going into like the gerwalk ish mode right now, if I remember how to do that correctly. Oh, also, one other thing on the accessory. So, of course, you know, these missiles you can detach, but he also does have these swords or these little blades, um, which he can hold down there. It's like there's so, there's so much stuff to go over on this guy. <laughs> I always forget about that, but. There are, in fact, little blades that store in his leg, which is pretty cool. Okay, so then these missiles. So I'm gonna take this whole section, pull it back, bring the legs forward. Oops, if I did this the other leg too. <laughs> bring the legs forward. And then these, you wanna straighten out the feet, which also have tons of pegs on them. And we actually do wanna bring out those heel spur pieces again. They'll kind of act as like thumbs, I guess bottom piece of a claw and this whole section will rock back 
And then the knee joints do also bend forward to allow forward movement of the legs for this mode. And then we can take this whole tail section and the instructions they do just want you to think rotate these around. And then it does just collapse over top. And he has like a big fighting gear walk ish mode. So that is a mode that you can do if you want. You can also, of course, just then take this piece, uh, actually detach the legs first. So just pull this whole section and it is a nice ratchet joint and set that down there. And you could still have this going on too, if you want. You know, bring this section back. Tons of things you can do with this. Rotate them around, take the tails around. This is like more, this would be like the Gearwalk version of the carrier mode, I suppose. So you could do that if you want. Oop, there goes the sword. Let's back in. Now to get into the carrier mode, what I want to do is kind of tuck all of this up. So there are some tab slots here. The main one that you want to line up is this tab with the slot right down here. So I think I want to rotate this all forward like that. And oop, there goes the sword again. And then collapse all this up and rotate the foot so it overlaps up top like that. I believe that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. There we go. Same thing on the other side. You can kind of do this however you want, so um, I'm just trying to remember how the instructions did it. Do that. that up, collapse the foot up. Just make sure it's kind of seated nicely there. Actually I think we then rotate all yeah rotate all this around. That's another way my missiles are lined up incorrectly but you could of course relocate these wherever you want. But per the instructions they do just go here. Sword back in. Go. Set that aside. Alrighty. And then this whole section does just collapse up like that. More or less. And you just straighten it out to your, your liking. <laughs> There's just kind of a robot all tucked up. Then we come to these landing gear sections up front and these just fold down. And there's a little tab slot connection that happens at each whenever it's straight or when it's folded down. And here you have the helicopter mode, which is a VTOL mode. Um, this thing is pretty sick looking. You can also, you can mount these guns however you want. I actually have them mounted differently, but you can mount them however you want using any of the ports. The swords don't stay in the greatest, at least on one side on mine, it doesn't stay in the greatest. They do have like a little overlap section that's supposed to hold them in place, but that one doesn't like always stay in perfectly. But I'm also moving it around quite a bit, so. But there's the helicopter mode articulation here. Of course, you have fan blades, you can move however you want. You could deploy the legs and the arms, you could have those moving. And these do spin really nicely, by the way. So, um, and then you have these big guns in front, big machine guns, landing gear. And then what you can do, which is one of my favorite features here, is you can take your little tank car thing, rotate the gun around however you want, just make sure it's folded back. And then we come to this back section and untab this, and it folds down. And there is a tab on the bottom here, which goes into a slot on either side, depending on how you store it. But if you're using, if you're putting it in front, then just slots in like that. And then there's tabs on either side of the top of the truck, which go into slots on the side up here. And so you can store your little truck in back like that, which is a pretty neat feature. Definitely dig it. You can also, of course, remove the pilot here so you can get a good look at him. These tiny little figures are packed with articulation. You can see all the really nice little paint apps on this guy. He's got a like, ball joint at the head, so that can move everywhere. He has ball joints at the shoulders, hinges at the wrists. He does have a ab crunch, which goes forward and back. And then he does have ball joints at the legs and hinges at the knee. So incredible articulation out of these little figures. And they do have little magnetic feet. So 
if you have something like the tactical carrier, you can sit him inside and use any of those little magnet parts, but he also stands perfectly well on his own. One more feature of this, I suppose. Let's see if I can get everything undone here. Pull out the tank thing, collapse this back up, and get him kind of back into robot mode so we can pull out the center section. Straightened out, straightened out, pull all this down, rotate around, straighten this out. Same thing on this side, straight around, straighten this out. Just want to get access to this center pod piece, which is one of my favorite parts of, of the Diaclone stuff. It's how you can like just have spaceships inside of spaceships inside of spaceships. It's really cool. So pull that out, pull this arm out. Alrighty. And then what we can do is detach the arms here from the sides. Just pull this whole back section off. We'll make it working. It's a little easier. All right, pull all that off, pull this off, that off, and detach this. So here's just like the skeleton of the robot, and you have like a little dropship piece. You can use it like an escape pod or just a smaller ship. So there you go. I think that's pretty neat. Neat little feature there. So that that is. That does it for this Diaclone review. Um, you know, this I barely touched on all the things you can do. This is really just what was in the instructions. You can see sticker-wise, I like to put mine here. I think it looked more like helicopter -y and gave it the matching one to the tank unit here. So they have matching stickers and then added a few more on the back here of the tail fin. Just think that looks, that looks cool. So that was my choice, but I think the instructions so tell you to put them on these shoulder pieces, which are removable, but there is like a little notch there for them. You could put it on either side. If you wanted to put stickers on the shoulders, you could do that. But I then I think, you know, in all the other modes, it's not visible. So I think it's cooler to have it on the front where it's always visible. So I hope you like this review. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll definitely have more Diaclone reviews coming. I am fully addicted to this stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for more Diaclone. And until then, oh, also one other thing is all this does, of course, store in this unit, tactical carrier, which I reviewed last time. You can put all the stuff in, it all tabs in place. It's pretty cool. You can't fit, you can only fit like the core robot sections uh, minus some of the armor. And you can't fit this, uh, of course, inside of that one unit. But if you get the trailers, which I do have those on order for the tactical carrier and expand it, you can then, you know, store all of this in a whole tactical carrier train, but that's just a side note. This stuff is fantastic. I hope you like the review. Again, please like and subscribe if you have not already. Um, check out some of my other reviews, and until the next review, I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching.